What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh. I really didn't want to do this. I really I honestly did not want to do this. I, I want to first off start by saying I don't know what's true, what's not true. I'm just gonna kind of go over what I've been hearing. But I've had so many people reach out to me today on, on pretty much every single social media saying, Josh, what is happening? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I know exactly as much as you could do, but we're gonna digest it, we're gonna break it down. And we're gonna see and talk to you guys in the chat because it's it, it's an unusual. It's a very touchy subject, and I just you know we do stuff with the we do stuff with the club, and I just didn't really want to uh, to address it. But I just been asked so many times. It's gonna be addressed regardless. So I guess let's kind of kind of carry on and and uh, yeah. So I mean, welcome to whoever is going to be joining us for this interesting little uh, little article. But I'm gonna go through it with you first, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. I'm gonna try to be as professional as I can. Producer T's very nervous in the background, and then we're gonna roll on like this. So basically, my inboxes were getting lit up today, and I don't know why. So Payne, you were the first one to do so. So shout out to you in the in the chat. But reading the article, and it's again, it's an article that doesn't look 100% like legit, and and like they have everything kind of figured out exactly what happened. So that's another thing. Again, I'm not saying I know exactly what happened. I'm not saying I don't because. Uh, because I don't think anyone really does. But basically it says that the German police has investigated Mukuku after he locked his ex-girlfriend, and I find that very key, ex, because I thought they were dating, um, but obviously they're not, in his flat. So the uh, the German police have opened an investigation into Borussia Dortmund's prodigy Yusufa Mukoko after he allegedly locked his ex-girlfriend in his flat against her will. So I guess breaking that down is, um, I do remember actually a while ago, and it's kind of, Came back that he was dating a girl a lot a lot of years older than her because there was rumors that he was uh, actually older than he was i'm not gonna get into that i i believe he's 16 i mean anyways but i do remember he was dating someone that was a little bit older than him i did not know that it was seven years which is what i'm being told so i'm assuming it's the same girl that he used to date before and it says that the 16 year old striker who will miss the rest of the season through an injury had a heated argument with the girl and he locked her in the house before he went to training <clears throat> So basically, she uh, she called the cops and they had to come and get her out. And then there's some little quick uh, tidbits of, of information here. And it said, uh, for now, it's unclear why the woman was locked inside Mukuku's flat. But it's, I mean, apparently it was a heated argument. Um, she is not filing uh, for anything. So, I mean, that's for Mukuku. I mean, I guess that's a, that's a good thing. But the prosecutor will decide whether a like legitimate investigation will be carried out. And then there was this rum rumor or truth. I don't know how true it is, but I'm going to tell you what I'm what I'm seeing and what I'm reading. It's Mukuku started dating an unnamed woman in 2017 when he was 12 years old and she was 18 years old, respectively. <clears throat> so that's a lot to digest. It's a lot to digest today. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll kind of carry on with that and we'll see what you guys are saying because that, I mean, if it's true, and I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it isn't. I don't know. It's it looks like there was obviously some type of argument. Uh, it's not a good look. It's not a good look for him. Um, he's he's got a huge weight on his shoulders. He's someone who's obviously supposed to be one of the next big things in football. So this isn't a good look for him. Um, it, it seems like it was a it was a dispute of some sort. I don't know how she got locked in. I don't know why she got locked in. And I'm assuming there's gonna be more information that will be eventually coming out. But we'll see if someone in the chat has any indication of what's uh what's going on here. So. Got a few of you guys saying that you haven't heard about this, and yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I, I got kind of, I wasn't planning on going live today, but my inbox was just getting, getting lit up, so I just, I thought we have to address it um, before we get into the Champions League stuff tomorrow, because that's what it's gonna be about, as well as Wednesday for the watch along. So I don't, I don't really want to get into this too much. I thought so. That's why I thought we're gonna, we're gonna take it on today. But some people are saying it's unlikely to affect him much. Hopefully, him and his ex can sort it out. Mukuku can use this at the moment of stupidity to mature. It's a good way of looking at it. It's a good, good, very good way of look, looking at it. Payne said that they broke up, and yeah, I didn't know that as well. Tyrone is here. Tyrone, how you doing, my man? Uh, buddy of mine who I played uh, played soccer with at college level. Um, as as what happening, and yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, Mukuku, as some of you guys probably know, is out for the remainder of the season with an injury. Um, but yeah, Steve says, why is my man under investigation? He went to training. He locked his girlfriend in. Uh, in his flat and she had to call the cops to get out so yeah i mean i'm very surprised by this doesn't seem uh 
doesn't seem like it's going to be a good look. I mean, the, this is the last thing the club wants to deal with, the last thing that he wants to deal with. But again, I'm not saying how legitimate it is. I'm not going to say it's not real. I'm not going to say it is real. Because I don't know. This is just from what I'm reading, which is why we're coming on here to, uh, to talk about it. Tyrone says this can't be true. I don't know, man. It, like, it's... I think there was some sort of discussion. Like, I, I'm pretty sure... I don't know about the, all the facts, but I do remember when we we uh, we basically had him coming up, there was rumors that he was dating a girl that was six or seven years older than him. So Steve's dabbing on it. So, you know. Um, agent, so he can recover fully with the injury. Uh, yeah. Uh, who's living with the 16 year old at all? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know how how this is this is gonna go down uh, it's, it's just it's not a good look for anyone man like this these kind of things they, they happen um, Usually when they do there's gonna be some maybe some type of punishment. He's so young 16 is a very young age for having something like this happen uh, I like this said I don't think the girls pressing charges from what I've read but it's just it was a strange story to come out that that he locked her in and I don't know how the whole thing kind of happened but it, it is weird but remember i told you that that he was upset and she was posting something yes so Payne did have a little insight i don't know where he got this from so again this is just from information that we're getting uh told but yes i think i may might have had something to do with with jealousy usually that's how something like that happened i always thought they were dating so i'm a little surprised re looking at the main thing saying that ex-girlfriend but very strange very strange saw the title confused <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu face. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean I, I'm surprised a lot of you guys haven't haven't heard about it un until now until I'm talking about it But like I said like as soon as this basically broke my My inboxes were getting getting lit up saying what's going on and I again like I'm not saying I don't know any like I don't know anything more than than you guys do. I'm trying to give you guys my take on it And my take is that I'm assuming the club is gonna jump on this as soon as they can they're gonna do everything they can to protect uh, Mukuku try to get the the facts straight, but it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not a good it's not a good look for him. It's not a good look on, on anything This is a poor situation for a very talented young player Hopefully, uh, hopefully maybe it was a misunderstanding and and it wasn't as It isn't actually how it went down. I, I don't I don't know but Yeah, man, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Hopefully uh, Hopefully they, they can figure it out quickly, but there's there's been a few things, and if you take a look at them, which is why I wanted to come on here to try to break down the facts. And and I don't know if anyone knows about this, but like like I said, when I when I did first start hearing his name when he was 13 ish, I knew he was dating someone who was about 20, because uh, there was a whole conspiracy theory about his age, and it's a legitimate one, not specifically on Makuku, but there are there have been times where players have have faked their age, and now I don't, I'm positive Makuku's still 16, man. Um, but I remember like there was a whole whole thing about that. That's when I first started realizing how, how young this kid was, how talented this kid was, and the fact that he was dating a girl that was six years older. The legal, the legal aspect of this, I don't know. I, I was told that it is different. In Canada, that, that wouldn't fly. Um, so I don't know what the rules are in Germany, if any of you guys know what it is for like, like dating. Um, but you're not allowed to do that where I live. But rolling on from that, um, apparently they broken up. Apparently there was jealousy involved. She must have went over to his flat. They must have gotten an argument. And now I don't know how this comes in. And this is probably the investigation is going to look at is was there some type of physicality, I guess, force against her will to push her into a. I don't know. And I don't. I don't know. But there's so, that's probably what the investigation is going to try to figure out is how she got locked in somewhere and how he was able to leave because she's obviously concerned to call the cops to get them to come and release her and then that's why the investigation is is being looked at and like i said the club in my opinion is going to do everything in their power to try to keep this as in-house as possible but and also the legitimacy of some of these articles i'm reading i'm not fully you know up to date but it's a crazy story man it's a crazy story and it's one i didn't really want to uh the one I really didn't want to touch on, and again, I don't have an opinion on. I don't want to take take anything because I don't know the facts. I'm just this is a very early story that's going on right now, so I don't know. So let's see what some of you guys are saying. Steve's saying if he's coming in jail and come out, he will be fit again to play for us. <laughs> I don't think he'll be going to jail. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about the rules in in Germany. 
But if he goes to jail, we lose money, so hopefully not. I, I don't think he'll go to jail. Like I said, the thing, from what I read, she's not pressing charges, but this could definitely um, is an ongoing development. What's his nationality? He was originally uh, Cameroon, and now he is German. So I, I actually don't know exactly. I believe he was born in Cameroon, moved over to Germany at a young age, but he is a German international fo football related. But yeah, it's very, very interesting. Well, if our wonder kid goes to jail, then what the hell? I again, guys, I don't know. I don't think this is as serious as jail, but I don't like again. I don't know. But 18 year old dating a 12 year old is not allowed. It's what I. It's what I thought too. I just again, I, I don't know. Different countries, different different rules. But Steve, maybe we should sell him in the future. And this, uh, eh. yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to get too much on it, man. We gotta we gotta get in a little bit more. Beast Hunter Hunter says, can you explain? So. Again, the, the article basically says that Randy's coming in here. There's a few people popping in who are very confused. Um, yeah, basically, he, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I didn't want to touch on this. But anyways, yeah, he basically came home and his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, they were obviously dating. Uh, I don't know if they are. From what I've read that they're they're not dating. She's seven years older than them. And they got into a argument apparently over jealousy but again none of this is a hundred percent confirmed guys so don't think okay i heard this from this from josh it's spot on i'm trying to tell you what i've been told what i've read and yeah i'm not trying to come up with a conspiracy theory or anything like that so take this with a grain of salt but there was an argument he locked her or she was locked somehow in a room and uh and then he left for training she called the cops because obviously she couldn't get out um that's where it gets fuzzy about exactly what happened and then the police came in and now there's an investigation taking place and yeah obviously not not ideal not a good look uh one of the most talented prodigies we've had in some time right before a second leg in the champions league this is not ideal and it's a situation i really didn't want to come on here and touch on it but like i said a lot of you guys have been asking me questions throughout the day and i just felt like i wanted to address it in some way shape or form so that's why we're doing a quick live and then after that i'm not going to hopefully touch on it too much because I don't know the full story so it's not fair for me to come up with a suggestion and I just want to see what some of you guys were uh, were thinking as well Tyrone says so parents and I honestly don't know I, I don't know I, I'd assume he's staying with somebody whether that person was home T producer T's shaking his head so maybe not maybe he's just got a flat to himself uh, I don't know what that situation is there so I mean it seemed like no one was obviously in the flat when when he went to training so I mean whether he had a roommate whether he his parents i honestly don't know but from i guess what we're reading it doesn't seem like he lives with anybody and why the girl was uh was locked in there so chill out makuku not a good look for his reputation hopefully gets cleared up soon yes and that's why i said guys take everything i say today with a grain of salt i am just telling you what i've read what i've been told i've had a few people reach out to me and kind of try to give me little tidbits of information and I'm not, I'm not telling anybody here exactly what happened. I'm telling you what I have read and we're just trying to, uh, to talk about it. So when did this happen? As far as I know, it, it happened either today or last night. Do you have an idea when it happened? I, I don't know. There's a couple things, again, that I was reading that this story actually broke yesterday, but, but no one talked about it until today. That's why I said the whole thing looks kind of interesting. But yeah, another viewer has pointed out something I've read as well and the fact that she didn't uh, press charges, which... In the whole grand scheme of the things as long as you know everything was okay like that's that's a positive thing but it's wild man but yeah every every country has different rules that's why i don't know about the, the whole situation but i know in canada i believe you have to be 18 to be in a relationship with someone who's over 18 is that what it is in here i don't know something like that taylor, taylor's shaking his head he doesn't know it i don't know i don't know either way the the 12 and 18 thing was was weird but uh, I come and watch this stream and I see this. Yeah, so I mean, obviously a lot of you guys didn't hear about this story as well because I'm getting a lot of surprise faces and and it, I mean, it seems like a pretty big story. But like I said, like as big as a, and a concerning of a story as this is, I mean, try Googling it. Like it's, it's not as insane. It's not on some of the more big area. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just this whole thing is uncomfortable. I feel, I feel awkward doing it, but... He is still a minor, so I guess he won't be receiving a major punishment. Maybe that's a reason she's not pressing charges. And there I go. I'm theorizing. <laughs> I just, yeah, this is this is weird. 
This is weird. Isn't Mukuku injured though? He is injured. He is injured. So I don't know what the reason. I'm assuming he has to still show up to training, uh, just to be with with uh, with the friend, with his friends, with his teammates, with everything. That's probably part of being, you know, being on the squad. But obviously, when he went to training, there was the uh, the concern of that he locked his ex girlfriend in, in the flat. So yeah, prob <laughs> what? Way more women now, even though he's already a star. But man's out here swinging. Yeah, yeah. The Norwegian polar bear wants to. Uh, to change some of the uh, the way that the conversation is going. I think that we will beat City on Thursday if we give Holland the service that will run rioting against the City of Defense. I like that you're just you're just flying over this storyline because it's something that I want to do, Norwegian Polar Bear, as well. So, yeah, pain. I am from Germany. I don't even know all the rules. Well, that's what I would like to know. I would like to know the rules, but again, I just... I don't know, man. This is weird. Or do we just... Do we skip over this? Do we just kind of shoot... Or the conversation elsewhere for the for the remainder of that I don't know to be honest she must have stayed and dated him just for the money I'm not, again I don't I don't know gotta get the <laughs> ball me uh yeah I do feel uncomfortable talking about this story but like it is this is, this could be it, I mean if it's true and again I don't know if it's true this is this could be an ugly story the way it progresses but just as something as big as this, like, I mean, it's not the first time a situation like this has happened with a footballer. Usually the story gets kind of, kind of blown up right away and it's the first thing you see. But just by looking at the chat here, it seems like a lot of you guys didn't really, uh, didn't really hear about it. So I just find it very, very interesting, man. But I like that some of you guys are, are just kind of rolling on with the conversation. So Josh, let's move on. You should uh, do the tier list we talked about. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not today, but like another one. Would you take Foden at Dortmund? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a fantastic player. Um, had a good game, but, but yeah, agreed. Yeah, Jamal Foden going nowhere. You can have Mendy though. <laughs> I don't think like, I mean, Foden, I don't think we'll ever we'll get Foden. I would take Foden at Borussia Dortmund, but there's no way um, it'll ever happen, but but yeah, I mean, he's a good player. Um, I did uh, I did say Sancho was, was better than, than Foden right before. So, of course, he had to score that last goal. But, I mean, Foden had a good game in the last in the last game. But, unfortunately, um, he did he did miss, have some missed chances for the City fans who may be watching. But he did take that last one, which sucked. Um, Holland needs a bit more time, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think so as well. I think so as well. Why are you not reading my stuff? I'm sorry, my man. I didn't mean to avoid it. Um... I just, yeah, I don't know. Got this awkward conversation about the investigation, and now we're kind of switching the conversation elsewhere. So, yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Okay, guys. Scoring results on Thursday. Your best guess. We're going to be doing that right after this. We're going to be shooting um, shooting our match preview. So, yeah, this conversation was, was good. I'm glad you guys came in here, but, you know, very, very awkward. So, I think I'm going to end it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, yeah. Okay. So, to sum it up, guys. For the rest of this week, um, we wanted we weren't going to go live today, but I wanted to get uh, I wanted to get the uh, this out of the way. Tomorrow we will be putting out our match preview, so hopefully you guys can take a good dosage of that. And then Wednesday, of course, we will be over live on Brucey Dortmund's Twitch, where we'll be doing another match preview and a little more in depth. You guys can come live, talk with us there, and then we'll be doing our match watch along, followed by of course our five takeaways. But I wanted to come on live today to talk about this, and I felt uncomfortable pretty much the entirety of the conversation just because there's so many moving parts. But I just wanted to bring it up for you guys just because, yeah, I mean, this this could be an ongoing story. It could be nothing. I don't know. There's a lot of moving parts when, of the stuff I was reading today. It's kind of kind of weird, but um, I'm hoping it maybe it was it was taken out of context, but it, does, it doesn't look good nonetheless. But we'll keep you updated in hopefully a less awkward way, because I just, you know, I felt, I felt weird, man. I felt weird. I felt weird about this, and I, I just, it sucks, because he's such a, such a talented player, man. He's been nothing but positivity this year, and this is a big, this is a serious situation. It is. I don't want to sugarcoat it. Um, if he did what they're alleging that he did, he could be in trouble, and it's as simple as that, and hopefully that's not the case, um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there, so it was a kind of an unorthodox little live stream we did here, so I thank you guys for coming in and, and sticking with me through this. It's one of those touchy situations. I did kind of try to do it the best way I could, and making making sure you guys knew that it was a uh, it was still an open debate. So 
hopefully we'll see you guys in a, in a more fun episode tomorrow for the for the preview and we'll get you guys' thoughts and opinions on that with my predicted starting 11 some of your predictions as well uh beast hunter i'll give him another shout out because i skipped one of his questions for the 3-1 for bbb tyrone my man is here he'll be uh keeping an eye he's a city fan thank you for the club update josh i you know yeah um you're welcome but uh, yeah just it was uncomfortable i still feel uncomfortable but yeah and then someone said a prediction for the Bayern and city or the Bayern and PSG game, and I think that uh, PSG will uh, will see it through. Bayern and PSG watch along tomorrow. I can't do one. I just I can't make that work. It would be a fun one. I will be doing a couple of the Champions League, no matter if we get knocked out or not. But yeah, but okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up because I feel like I was just uncomfortable the entire time. So I thank you for coming in. That is an update. It will be an ongoing story, no doubt about it. Hopefully, it's not as serious as it may seem. So. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Um, drop a like on your way out. Uh, we're sponsored by Manscaped, if you didn't know that. you know, I'm not going to do that. a huge man read, Manscaped read today. But, uh, but yeah, if any of you guys are hairy and you have this, but down in that area, and you want 20% off and uh, free shipping, JGDTV. So, you know, thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll see you next time.